Here is yet another means of remote access on Windows, again provided by a third party and one of the easiest methods to use. It's called Log Me In. And yet another remote access login tool, and there are many. Um, in this case, another third party tool that's not built onto Windows is Log Me In. And like VNC, you can go to their website and download the tool. So I'm going to go to logmein.com and give them your email. Uh, let me and let me see what kind of password will I use? And United States. And do you plan to use log me in for IT support? And you would probably say yes, and I'm just gonna say no. I don't want to spam, but um. I already have an account in this case I'm going to continue and I want to be spammed. No, I don't really want to be spammed. So install Love Me In to access this computer from anywhere. And so from their website I could just go ahead and download. Um, installation started. Do you want to run this application? And I'm going to go ahead and say run. It's not too bad, 14.6 May. I still say of all the options, my favorite is by far VNC. I think it's tighter, smaller, um, more efficient, faster, and has more options than any of the built-in remote access uh, connectivity options. and it's pretty much less bloated. Even the, you know, even log me in is, to me, it just kind of seems a lot more bloated than uh, VNC. But you know, try them all. Figure out what works best for you. What, what's your preference? Drop me a message. Um, in this case, I want to go for a typical installation, and it's, you know, the computer name is fine. I'll use the host name of the computer, Starbuck, and I'll put it over there into the default folder or directory. Want to allow the following program to install software on this computer? Well, yes, I do. User account control. Copy in the new files. Set up completado. Finish. Try remote access from a nearby a computer. Okay, so um, welcome to log me in. Next step: try remote access from a nearby computer. What can we do? See how log me in remote access looks and feels in action. Woohoo! Um, try features locally. Try desktop sharing and file sharing and explore options. These features don't require a second computer. Let's go ahead and do the second computer option. Follow the instructions if you have a second computer within easy reach. On the other computer, visit www.logman.com. Log into your account with the email cgermany77 at yahoo.com and your password. On the My Computers page, click the remote control button next to the name of this computer. Woohoo! Follow on screen the instructions if prompted. Yada yada yada, blah blah blah. Self explanatory. Um, and let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to hop on over to another computer. Through the magic of screen capturing technology and virtualization. So, on the other computer, I'm going to go to logmein.com. Eventually, new pictures from Top Secret Area 51. Woohoo! All right, so I'm at log me in, and I'm going to use some account, which is my email, and let's use my password. 
Do you want to explore to remember the password you were giving? Okay, fine, whatever. I know that's not the most secure option, but um, when you created your the very you human sent to, please check your email and follow the instructions to verify. All right, so let me go log into my email account and verify. Um, maybe I can let me see if I can verify my email later. Will it let me? There we go. Good. Okay. Fine. So I am on the Galactica, and the computer that I installed Log Me In on is uh, Starbuck. And so I'm going to go ahead and click on Remote Control, and then um, click on the bar at the bottom, install the ActiveX control. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, I'm going to say yes. Kind of cool that they do everything from their website, but um, you know, again, I'd probably say out of trying all these, VNC is probably my favorite. And to your Windows username and password. Oh, so log me in gets to know my username and password. Eh? Let's see. No, let's let's do C Germany, and I can't. Even remember what password I was using to log in there. I think it was a very simple password. I could be wrong. I guess I was right. You were about to remote control Starbucks. Click OK to proceed. Well, thank you for preparing me for that. Prepare to fast forward. Fast forward. Spaceballs, if you don't have a reference. Log me in connection alert. The following printer has been connected to Snagit 8 via BBBBS by screen capture software. Alrighty then. So now I'm logged in remotely over the web. And I'm a controlling remotely through the miracle of remote access. Um, I'm, I'm on Galactica and I'm controlling uh, Starbuck through the log me on. So that's kind of neat that it's all built into the web there, but. I'm getting a, I notice I'm getting a lot more lag. Uh, it's a lot slower, a lot less performance um, than I was getting just by VNC. See, I have to kind of go through them and their website and the internet, and there's bottlenecks and you know pinhole congestion going on there. Whereas if I do VNC, I can do everything on a high-speed local area network at gigabit per second connections, or even greater if you're blessed with awesome equipment. So anyway, we looked at five different ways of remote access. And the last two were not even built into Windows. They're third party. There are many more. Google is your friend. Hop on Google, type in remote access tools. Experiment. Have fun. 